Hello Algebra 2 students, this is Mr. Ketke with a tutorial video to help you guys kind of navigate your way through your first week of distance learning that helps us wrap up the third quarter and then also going forward into the fourth quarter and what that's going to look like for you guys. I'd like to start by highlighting some informational stuff that's out on the Schoology website. Right now I'm on the, the regular Schoology uh, course that you guys have been using all of third quarter. And the first thing to do is I'm just going to pull this document up and let you guys have a look. You can look through it in detail on your own. I just want to make a couple points. Um, one of the things we want to stress is we are trying to operate at least on some kind of a schedule, which I think is important. Our day is 9.30 to 3.30. Uh, this first bubble here is a good one to kind of think about reestablishing some routines and a structure for your day as best you can. We know that your um, learning at home and your distance learning environment certainly is different than coming to school every day, but you want to try to operate on some kind of structure. If you have no structure, no schedule, that makes distance learning more difficult to, to, to work with. So please uh, try to do that as best you can. Um, I think this is a good thing for you to kind of look through. Um, down here is a link to the distance learning website. There's a lot of good information there also. So again, if you just have questions about how some things will operate in general, that's a good document to look at, a good link to, to search around in. Okay, I'm gonna close that one out. Um, the other thing I would talk about quick is tech support. So obviously because you guys are doing a lot of stuff online, using your laptop, connecting to the internet, um, you know, using the Schoology platform and probably some other things too along the way. If you're having any issues, here is the link to the place where you can get some help with that. So there's your tech support if you need it. Um, let's go into our daily schedule. And what I like to do quickly is pop up kind of a generic schedule for you guys. So this is our kind of loose first period, second period, third, fourth schedule. Um, what we'd like you guys to do is, you know, if you can, try to show up in your class during that time. And showing up means that you, um, you're you in Schoology, you're taking your attendance for that hour, and even doing the assignments that are that are provided for you via Schoology. Uh, we're also trying to provide some flexibility, so we know that you may not be able to work on a, on a perfectly structured schedule. Um, so maybe you're in other parts of this schedule during the day doing stuff for maybe your first hour class and you're wrapping it up in fourth hour. But um, I think this will help you again with that structure idea trying to keep your day somewhat scheduled. The video conferencing, I will come back to that in a little bit, so I'm gonna save that for later. Let's go into the daily schedule. So here's the folder that you guys should be going to and open it up and have a look. So in there you see that same document I was just talking about. Uh, the announcements, resources, contact info folder. Let's do that quick. So in here is myself and Mr. Fogarty. And in there we've got some information about our office hours and contact info. So I'm open mine up. Um, office hours, again, this is our day. Now, office hours doesn't necessarily mean that we're sitting by our computer every second of that time frame, but it's definitely the time that we'll be taking emails from you guys, responding to your questions. I've got a Google phone number here. So that Google phone is a number that you can use to text me. It's not my actual cell phone number. It's a separate number, but it's one that you can definitely text me. You can call and leave a voicemail. Um, if I happen to be... Um, there, when you do call in and you'd like to actually call and speak to me, we can do that too, but I prefer for now that we stick with texts or voice messages. And of course, email always works well. And then if we, if you need to, like it's just something you can't take care of via text or email and you need a, you know, actual, you know, back and forth conversation, we can do that. Also, we're going to do video conferencing via Schoology. So these times are something to keep track of. I'm going to try to do these daily and offer you guys a couple opportunities. So one is what would be like the beginning of our second hour. So let's look at that schedule again. So kind of near the beginning of our second hour and then one near the end of our third hour. Just to give you guys a little bit of flexibility at when you might be able to get in and actually um, talk to me face to face and more of a question answer session like we would normally do if we were taking homework questions on any given day. What that looks like and how it operates is fairly easy. So let's talk about that right now while I'm thinking about it. So I'm going to go to the conference schedule. So you'll see if you're just off on this left hand side and you're in the Schoology course and there's conferences, you can click into that, which is where I'm at now. And then you'll see the ones that I have scheduled. Basically, all you've got to do is click this button to start your conference and it'll, um, you'll see me in. I'm actually going to go in right now. I'm going to do this tutorial one and just show you what it looks like. There'll be a, some things you got to do up front, which is this kind of stuff here. So microphone check. You just do that, tell it to let it use your microphone on your computer, you're good. It's gonna do a little quick test, thumbs up. And you're good to go. And then, like I said, I'll try to get in right away. You'll see me pop up here.
I'd like to make a note about some of the stuff. First of all, let me just get rid of this quick. But a note about some of the things down here. So there's a mic, a phone, and a camera. I don't think we need to have our cameras on. Maybe the day, first day we do it, it might not be bad to put the cameras on. Kind of just pop in so we can all see each other and say hi, and that's fine. But on a daily basis when we're doing homework questions or stuff like that, I think it's the best if we don't all have our cameras on. And also talk about the mic. So right now you can see that my name shows up and my mic is green. If I hit the mic and mute it, you'll notice my mic goes red. I'll always have my mic on. But I would suggest that if we have 20, 30 of us in here that we don't all have our mics on with people coming and going, trying to talk, and who knows what other background noise you might have. So think of it kind of as like raising your hand, right? If you want to ask a question, you see that um, while people are in but their mics are not on, then go ahead and mic in, and your name will show up. You ask me the question, and we can talk. If another person wants to come in, fine. But again, when you're done with your question, and you feel like it's been answered, um, just click that mic off. You'll get used to doing that so we don't have 30 people mic'd in and everybody trying to talk over one another. And basically, we'll run these for about a half hour or is, you know, no more than a half hour. Let's put it that way. And if we can do it in less, great. But it's our way to connect day-to-day uh, -day live and even, you know, face-to-face. -face. If we want to do that, we can. That's about it. It's pretty simple. And, you, you know, the program can have a, be a little bit glitchy and things like that. So we're going to have to kind of see how that goes. But, you know, we want some patience and flexibility from you guys. We know that things are not going to be perfect. The first week or so and we're going to hammer out all the details but that's kind of it for that conferencing tool i'm just going to stop that so you guys hold, hold on uh, when you've been in by the way and you want to be be like i'm done i'm going to get out i got my questions answered or just the session's over you can go over on these the three dots over here and just end meeting which i'm going to do and now i'm out okay so we'll try to use that as a way to help us um, connect day to day again i'm going to stick to this schedule um, daily especially at first we'll see maybe we don't need to do it every day we'll kind of just again play it by ear and see how that goes let's go back into the schoology page for a minute um, so again there's that information for you guys and there's that schedule let's go back to the distance learning folder so talking about your daily work so here's the daily attendance so you guys will be checking in with attendance basically it's a there's a practice one here so you can kind of see how it works the attendance quizzes are fairly simple. It's not really a quiz at score. It's just a way for us to get to collect your attendance. So you pop in there. Um, you basically answer the question, yes, I'm in, and that's all there is to it. You can do it again during your third hour, which would be your guys' class period, of course. You can do it in the morning and take attendance. You can do it in the afternoon. Um, I would suggest try to do it by 3.30 or at least somewhere between 9.30 and 3.30 since that's technically our school day. So just try to be aware of that. And then going back to the distance learning folder again, talking about your daily schedule. So you'll have a lesson daily schedule. And we're going to kind of cycle back through Chapter 3. We had done some of this. Actually, we had done all of this um, before school closed. So we're going to spend that last week of the third quarter just kind of rehashing these ideas, get you guys back in the groove of the first half of Chapter 3, and then do a mid-chapter quiz. Um, along the way, there are going to be kind of daily shorter quizzes. So I'm going to go into a regular folder. Let's go down a little bit. So we've got, um, well, let's do both of them at the same time. So it's going to be watch a video. So the video are video lessons that you'll be listening to me. Do the homework assignment. This is your book assignment from your ebook. And then the following day, we're going to turn in. And to turn in homework on Schoology, I'm going to just go to that link. When you go in there, um, sorry, I had to catch this, get this link in there. I, get to the right spot so you guys can see this link, but there'll be a how-to. So just it's not any of us from the math department. It's another teacher, I think, from another district. But anyway, she'll walk you through a how-to, and it's pretty easy to do. Um, that's just to take care of that, how you upload. But you're going to have to um, scan in or take a picture of your completed homework, like your actual physical uh, you know, homework paper, and then upload it to Schoology so we have a way to check your homework assignments. So you'll do that. And then within your daily folder, there is um, check for understanding, which is kind of a little bit of a review. Take a quiz on the old material, and then it's back to watch a video on homework. So you kind of got to get into this cycle of um, turning your homework from the previous day, check for understanding, quiz on the previous day's material, watch the new lesson, and do your homework. I would expect uh, start to finish, this is maybe an hour's worth of time, you know, so not that you got to do it all in one sitting, but, you know, your 90-minute class period, we're asking for maybe, you know, 45 to, to 60 minutes. And, of course, you can split it up. You guys have to structure your day to make it work. Um, and I don't know if it's going to take that much time exactly, but I'm just kind of estimating there for you. And that'll basically take us through the um, last week of the third quarter. When we get to the end, I'm going to go back for a second to the end. Um, there'll be a mid-chapter quiz at the end, and that's just kind of and some review to go along with that, and that's to kind of wrap up our, our third quarter grades. 
As far as your third quarter grades go, just to comment on that, um, it's basically going to be your chapter 1, 2, and chapter 1, 2 final. And that constitutes the bulk of your third quarter grade. This stuff will go in your third quarter grade, but it probably won't have much of an effect. So basically where your grade's kind of sitting right now without this is probably pretty much where it will be. We move to fourth quarter, so I'm going to do that for you guys quick. When we get into the fourth quarter, then, you know, this is going to all operate basically the same way. The grading will be slightly different. We're going to go to a 70-30 split because you'll only be doing homework and quizzes. There's no tests going on in the fourth quarter, and there's, well, none left in the third quarter either. So anyway, you've got your weeks, and this is the start of the, the fourth quarter, and they're going to operate the same way as the rest. So you click in and you just go, right? You've got your attendance. You'll have, you'll see the... Oh, the material there right now it's not showing up because we don't have it uh, right we don't have it um, published yet but but it'll look just like it did in the in the previous folder just like this one where you've got all the same kind of stuff going on so to wrap it up i'd like to leave you with kind of a final personal message that i've missed you guys and i know that the three weeks we've been off we've all been kind of wondering you know, how this is all going to go when we come back all i can say is uh, we've been working hard as an algebra 2 team to get this ready to go for you guys and we just hope you do your best, put your best effort in, and hope that it all goes well for us. And we make it through our distance learning experience coming on the other side uh, as good as we possibly can and maybe even a little bit better for it, for having survived it, right? So with that, I'm going to leave you with one final last little inspirational message, and we'll call it good in our tutorial. Go out there and take it. 